Our class today is about voltage divider. So let's take the example for the voltage divider where you have this circuit where the resistance R1, R2, R3, Rn for example until how many numbers of resistance connected in series. So you can calculate by using a voltage divider. So first of all, you need to calculate the R total. R total or R equi equivalent. So since this circuit is connected in series, remember that you will need to add all the resistance. For example, R total here, so it will be R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus how many R between R small n until R Pn. So you will just need to add them, alright? So when you add them, you will got the R total. Then you will calculate the I I total. So for example, the circuit will be look like this. So you get this resistance. So R total over here. Then you get the voltage V total over here. Then you can calculate the I I total. So, I total will be equals to V total over R resistance total. So, Vt over R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R, how many R, until Rn. Okay. For example, if you want to calculate the current at the resistance Rn, for example here. Okay. You know that this circuit, the current will be the same because they are connected in series but the voltage will be different so you can calculate the voltage across resistance Rn by using a voltage divider alright so for V total over R total will be equals to I I total I N will be equals to V N over R N like this right so so you can multiply by rn to remove and to get the vn value over here so you get rn over r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus how many r times by voltage total so this is the formula for voltage divider okay let's take the example to understand this so this is example for voltage divider. Can you find the voltage V2 across the resistance R2 which is V2 over here, right? Okay, this is uh, I give you conventional method to calculate the V1 and V2. But you can also calculate the V1 and V2 using the voltage divider. Okay. Then first, voltage divider is used if the current is not given to you. If you calculate, if you can calculate the current, say you can use the conventional method to calculate the V1 and V2. Alright, so if you want to calculate V2 over here by using a voltage divider, so V2 equals to Vs over here times R2 over R1 plus R2. So, Vs is 12 volt. R2 is 20 ohm. 20 ohm. So, R1 plus R2. So, this one is 30. 30 ohm. So, you get here 8 volt. Right? So, you can check by a conventional method where you can calculate the I1. How to calculate the I1? First, you need to get the R equivalent or R total R equivalent is R1 plus R R2 so you got 10 ohm plus 20 ohm so you got 30 30 ohms so you got 30 ohms here I1 equals to voltage supply over resistance total so you got the current I1 is 0 0.4 ampere so the current I1 is 0 0.4 Ampere. So the current over R1 and R2 is the same because they are connected in series. 
So, you can calculate the V1. For example, I1 times R1. So, I1 is 0 0.4 ampere times 10 ohm. So, you got 4 volt. V2 is I1 times R2. So, you got 0 0.4 ampere times 20 ohm. You got 8 volt. So, if you calculate in total, 8 volt plus 4 volt, it will become 12 volt. So, this one will be the same with this one. Right. So, you can verify that your answer is is correct by using a voltage divider. Next, this is another example by using a voltage divider. Design a voltage divider circuit with an output of 12 volt and a current of 50 milliampere using 20 volt battery. Okay, you have 20 volt battery. You got the current. Current through is 50 milliampere so you got the voltage divider it means that a resistance connected in series you can have r1 r2 r3 depend on your design so in this case i design by using r1 and r2 only all right so it says that design a voltage divider circuit with an output of 12 volt so i put r2 12 volt for example and we can calculate the voltage across the R1 as well okay so for this design for example you got V equals to I IR where R is R equi equivalent so this one is R equivalent where R1 plus R2 okay so voltage supply is 20 volt equals to 50 milliampere current times R equivalent. So, you got the R equivalent or R total 40, 400 ohm. Right. So, R total is R1 plus R2. R total or R equivalent is R1 plus R2 is 400 ohm. So, by using a voltage divider circuit, right. So, you can Calculate the R2. V out equals to V in times R2 over R1 plus R2. So, you know V out is 12 volt. So, you get V in 20 volt times R2 over R1 plus R2. You know this one is 400 ohm from here. And then you can calculate the R2. R2, so you get R2 is 240 40 ohm. So R2 is 240 ohm. So you don't know the value for V here and also resistance value here. Okay, next you do the calculation. R1 plus R2 equals to 400 ohms, you know from the previous. R1, so you can calculate the R1. R1 is 160 ohm. So 160 ohm and 200 40 ohm. So you got two value already, and this one we already know is 12 volt. Then you can calculate the voltage divider for R1. So how do you calculate the voltage divider for R1? So V voltage across R1 is equals to voltage in times R1 over R1 plus R2. Okay. So, V in 20 volt. So, R1 is 160 ohms over 400 ohm. Which is R1 plus R2. So, you got this one. So, you calculate them. Then, you got 8 volt. So, this one is 8, 8 volt. Okay. Alright. So, this is your voltage divider circuit design where the R1 is 160 ohm, V1 is 8 volt, R2 is 240 ohms with the output 12 volt and the current of 50 milli ampere. Okay, let's try this. Calculate the voltage across R1, R2 and R3. So, you got this circuit connected in series 
So you don't have the information about the current. You can calculate the current by conventional method. And then current times R1, current times R2, current times R3. So you got V1, V2 and V3. By using the voltage divider, you can calculate voltage across R1. Which is V1 here. V2, V3. Alright. V1 is equals to R1 over R1 plus R2 plus R3 times voltage total. So, R1 is 12 ohm, 2 ohm, sorry, 2 ohms over 2 plus 4 ohm plus 6 ohm. So, you got 2 over 12 times 12. So, you got 2 volt. So, voltage across resistance R2. So, the formula will be R2 over R1 plus R2 plus R3 times voltage total. So, you got 4 volt. So, for V3, voltage across resistance R3. R3 is 6 ohm. So, the formula will be R3 over R1 plus R2 plus R3 times voltage total. So, R3 is 6 ohm. 6 ohm divided by total 12 volt. 12 ohm, sorry, times 12 volt, so you got 6. So if you calculate them, if you add 6 plus 4 plus 2, so it will become 12 volt. So it's the same with the voltage supply. So the answer is correct. Okay, next. Let's try this. Determine the voltage drop across 8 ohm resistance using a voltage divider method so which one h o good it's here so voltage across 8 ohm so you got a resistance voltage 8 ohm equals to resistance 8 ohm divided by resistance 12 ohm at resistance 6 ohm plus resistant 8 ohm plus resistant 4 ohm times by voltage supply so voltage supply is 15 volt so resistant 8 ohm is 8 plus 12 plus 6 plus 8 plus 4 12 6 8 4 then you get 4 volt so this is the calculation using a voltage divider Now, take another example for voltage divider. Determine the voltage across 15 ohm resistance by using voltage divider rules. What you need to do is, in this circuit, the resistance R3 and R4, R3 and R4, they are connected in parallel. When they are connected in parallel, you must make them in series first. So remember that both resistance in parallel, you need to do 1 over 1 over 3 plus 1 over 15. So you got 2.5 ohm for the R equivalent. So if you simplify this circuit, so it will become like this, right? So this one is 2.5 ohm. So you got 5 ohm, 5 ohm, 25 ohm, 25 ohm. So you want to calculate the voltage across 15 ohm resistance. So I think this one is not 15 ohm resistance. Alright. Okay, 15 ohm resistance. So 15 ohm resistance is here. So you know that the voltage for the parallel circuit. So this one, if you get the voltage here. So the voltage here will be the same with the voltage here. Right? Okay. So, first you need to calculate this one. So the resistance across 2.5 ohm over total resistance connected in series, which is 5 plus 2.5 plus 25 plus 5 plus 2.5 plus 25 times 13 volt. So you got 1 volt. 
So the voltage across R equivalent here will be the same with the voltage across R equivalent here. So it's a 1, 1 volt. That's all for example for the voltage divider rule.